Hey y'all, it's Ryan from Ryan Can Make It here again with another sublimation tutorial. If you're new to my channel, I am a small business. I've been making personalized items using mainly sublimation for about four years now, and now I'm here sharing my knowledge, tutorials, first time looks, and everything else with you all. So if you enjoy any of that kind of content, small business content, crafting, DIY projects, maybe how to set up your Shopify store, I'll be making videos about that. Please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. So today for the very first time, I'm making these sublimation glass jars. They're super popular, so I decided to get some for my own small business. And today you're getting a first look on how it turned out and how it went for me. Okay, so I got these 16 ounce glass cans that everybody is raving about. And I was like, well, I'll make one for my mom. Ooh, I almost dropped it. So the first thing I need to do is we'll take off the lid. It's the one with the bamboo lids, is I need to measure it. Now I've looked and people in different groups have said what size they use, but you know, I gotta double check. I don't have a fabric measuring tape, so I'm just using this one. Okay, they use five. <clears throat> by 9.75 that's what I got so I'm gonna go print it out that size on my computer my mom wants a tie-dye one so that's what we're gonna do I have not I'm gonna do this in the press so actually first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my HTV run press can fit this I'm sure it can because it's smaller okay this is my HTV Ron uh, auto tumbler press and I'm just gonna turn it on and before it gets heating up too much I'm just gonna put this in there and hit the close button and I just wanted to look inside there I think it'll be fine um, as long as I rotate it because I'm gonna try and do a full wrap So you also just press the same button and it uh, will open I'm gonna try 360 For 120 seconds and then flip it into another 120 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go print this out I use a Sawgrass SG400. They no longer make the 400, now they make the 500. It only prints up to 8.5 by 14 inches, So, but that's what I got when I first started my business and that's what I've had ever since. If I ever upgrade, I'll get the really big um, Epson F570 I think it is. It prints 24 inches wide, but that's some um, late <laughs> another day. So if you have questions about your Epson Eco Tank, I'm not sure I can answer your questions because this does everything for me. I will show you how I do the print though. So this design I got off of Creative Fabrica. There is a link in the description if you'd like to try a free trial of Creative Fabrica. I love it because it's all commercial use products. And then I just sized it. I use Photoshop for everything and the size I measured for this glass can specifically was 5 inches tall by 9.75 inches wide and then whenever you have a sawgrass and a Mac you just save the image to the sawgrass smart folder as a JPEG and then it will pop up with the sawgrass print manager and I just make sure I always have it set on polyester fabric and the true picks classic paper and I just make sure everything's perfectly on there. I just make sure nothing got changed and that it is printed mirrored. Um, that's how I do it on my Mac. And here is my print of the tie dye and that is the size five by 9.75. And then of course I'm using my favorite HTB Ron sublimation paper been using it for years and I love it okay let's go cut and wrap this up okay first thing is I always use gloves when I'm doing sublimation because your hands could have like grease or they could sweat whatever and I've had too many times because this is a liquid ink on paper that I've like touched it and then it smeared ruined a substrate ruined and I had to do it all over again so I always use gloves Okay, it's pretty much cut down. I made sure that 
the one side here was definitely had no white showing. This side has a little white showing on my cut, but I'll just make sure that's on top whenever I wrap my cup. You don't want too much of an overlap on something that is like um, glass because you'll definitely see the line. I've learned that before. Since this is like a tie-dye design, it doesn't really matter which side is up. So I'm just going to do my best here to line it up on the flat part of the surface and make sure that the ends are aligned. Mm. I feel like it's not gonna get tight enough. I feel like I could trust myself. Hold on, I gotta get my favorite tool here. Okay, this is something I bought on my own. It is like an adjustable pinch perfect universal tool and I just press this little button to pop that up because my hands hurt and it gets everything really tired so I'm just gonna make sure that's all lined up and I just press this in there make sure that's there and then it's locked in there make sure that white side is there and I'm just gonna pull, this is my first time doing a glass can y'all, so if it's messed up, it's messed up, that's why it's for my mom. I'm just gonna do three pieces of tape and then you just pull that out and it's all wrapped. And then to, you can, I usually do my 20 ounces on here and then like to lift up this little part, the cradle, you just like flip this, or sorry, push that little lever, and then that part to go back up. I like it a lot. And then I didn't think about it. I know jump scare. I'm up close. Um, but you should probably wrap this with some paper um, to make sure your heat press doesn't get any sublimation ink on it. So this is just a piece of like um, packing paper that I've used that I use for like blowout paper. So I'm just gonna wrap that around there. Just in case, don't wanna ruin my new press. Okay, we're gonna go put in my HTV Rock press and try that. In no particular order, I'm just gonna put that in there. And again, I'm doing 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 120 seconds, and then I'm gonna rotate it and do it for another 120 seconds. Okay, make sure you have a heat glove on, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna touch this. So we're just gonna rotate it once, but watch how it opens by itself. Okay, I'm just gonna rotate it one full turn. That seemed to be about one turn and started again. And I'm gonna do another 120 seconds. Okay, it's almost done. Five, four, three, two. Let's take that out. If you look in, uh, I don't know if you can tell. If you look inside of there, can definitely tell it's sublimated so okay um, i'm not very good at waiting so i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it here just take off that little piece first so that was the scrap paper and here we go it's gonna be what it's gonna be Okay, I like it, I think. So these are the frosted jars. Very hot, very hot. Um, and the seam turned out great with just the three pieces of tape. So in person, it looks like, you know, a bit translucent because obviously it's glass, but I think it turned out really great. So I did it 360 degrees in my HTV Run Auto Press. Um, 
for 120 seconds and then I rotated it another 120 seconds. Now, if you was just doing something on this side, I would say like you probably just need to do the 120 seconds one time because you're not flipping and rotating it. The top of it is a bit feathered and so is the bottom. It's not a harsh line due to the taper, but honestly, I kind of like it a lot. So I'm going to let it cool off and I'll show you all what it looks like with the lid and the straw and everything, okay? Okay, y'all, it's all cooled off and I put the lid on and it comes with a straw. My mom's going to love it. I did not even realize I was wearing tie-dye and I'm making a tie-dye. Why am I always ironic and iconic? Anyways, it has a bamboo lid, 16 ounces, made out of frosted glass, and they come with the straw. I will put the ones that I got in the description of this video, and I will add this to my website in case you want one for yourselves already made. Not this one, because this one's for my mom, but you know, maybe for your mom. Mother's Day is coming up soon. And if you learned anything today, was entertained just a little bit, or want to support my small business and my growing YouTube channel, please, please, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And then what? Leave a comment below that says that you subscribed. Leave a comment anyways. I'll reply to all of your comments down there because I want to make you feel special. Because it makes me feel special seeing the notifications. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.